Welcome to Northside Marine. Behind us here is the beautiful Jeannot Mary Fisher 695 Series 2. Today we're going to take you on a tour through this beautiful vessel. We're going to check out how versatile it is, what can you use it for, how many people can you keep on board, can you even stay overnight on this boat. Let's go have a look. Welcome back to the Rudder. My name's Brooke and this is Damien and today we are going to take you on a tour of this beautiful Jeannot Mary Fisher 695 Series 2 and we're going to take a look at all the features and characteristics on board. This is an extremely versatile boat, sometimes called the SUV of the sea because it can do all sorts of things. If you want to just go out solo as a fisherman, that's fine. If you want to take your whole family out, have the kids that can go underneath and uh, have a bit of a rest after a day in the sun, you can do that as well. We're gonna start with the outside of the boat, so let's go. Let's have a look at the outside of this beauty. This is the Mary Fisher hull, which is carried through the whole range. It's a deep V hull, very sleek, very good to cut through the water. But also you'll note, we're on a trailer. This is an easily trailerable boat. It's 7.41 meters with engines and everything put on. It's also got a beam of two and a half meters, which in Australia means it's easily taken on the road. You don't need any special permits. Having a look underneath, you've got the steep climbs, which provide stability and able to cut through and throw the water out the sides. As always, we have the bow thruster, which oh yeah, it's fit in there. So even with a seven meter boat, you've got that extra stability to maneuver in tight spaces or to get yourselves uh, into that reef spot where you want it. Another thing to note is this baby only takes half a meter of draft. So you can get up into some neat uh, reefs, get into the spots you want. Very maneuverable, very easy boat to handle, especially if it's your first boat. And being fiberglass, nice and easy to maintain, looks fantastic. I mean, I think this is the Mary Fisher look. You can spot these on the water everywhere. Coming down the boat widens out at the stern to give you a solid, steady, comfortable ride. And when you're on at anchor, enough stability to keep the family happy. Let's have a look at the stern. Round here at the stern, there's a few options that tell you this is the Series 2. So they've improved this rail. So when you're getting out of the water, you've got something nice and large to hang on to. You've got your swim ladder here, which comes out, penetrates nice and deep into the water so you don't sort of falling into the water and stows away very easily. And while we're having a look at that, stows away into a nice teak finish. This is getting really hard to find at the minute. Um, at at the moment, teak, you can't order it. So having a teak finish is beautiful. I really love it, um, especially, you know, we've got it on our boat. The powerhouse, 200 horsepower is the maximum horsepower you can put on the 695. Uh, in other countries, they range from a 150 or 175, but 200 is really what you want. And this vessel is still being fitted out. So you'll have a Garmin transducer down there and some trim tabs are all to come in. They're not quite here just yet. On the other side, you've got duck boards on both sides, so you can jump off, you can fish from here, and you've got just a little storage well. You could convert that into a live bait tank if you wanted to. But yeah, beautiful boat. And as I said, this is trailerable. Dry weight is about one and a half tons, probably when you're loaded a little under three tons. Let's jump on board and Brooke is going to have a look at the interior. One of the fantastic features of the 695 Series 2 is its large open cockpit area. With the capacity to hold six passengers, there's plenty of space for a small family or group of friends. Let's take a look at the versatility in this cockpit now. The cockpit features a transom door, which makes it easy to get on and off the boat. It also has another little gate here for you to access the swim deck on the port side of the vessel. This version has been optioned up with the U-shaped seating and this section here drops down nicely. Let's have a look at how that works.
making it a great area for lounging in the afternoon sun, holding a glass of wine. Let's have a look now at the storage options in this back section. Storage in the cockpit area is plentiful, enabling you to take all the gear you need on a day trip out with the family. Deep dry storage under this little seat here, and also storage under here for your ropes, fenders, what you like. Let's take a look at the lazarette now where there's also additional storage. Obviously in the lazarette is where all of the electrics are, but you've also got an additional room for storage in here. One last feature I wanna show you in the cockpit before we go inside the cabin is Jeannot's really purposely designed space when you lift the outboards up. So the, the cockpit reduces, this pulls back, enabling you to tilt the engines up out of the water. Damien's now gonna take us inside to explore the cabin and the helm. Let's go. Just moving inside the 695, and I guess this is one of the main things about this boat, is a seven meter boat, and you can be fully enclosed. So closing this door here, if the rain comes in or if the weather gets a bit foul, you and the family or your friends can be inside here nice and cozy. Also, just as we step inside, little door here is your isolation points for your battery and your windless um, circuit breaker. So good spot for that. Let's step inside this very bright and airy cabin. And really, as we see with all the Mary Fisher range, there's so much light in here. You've got your sunroof on the top and windows on either side providing lots of ventilation. Remembering this is a seven meter boat. You've got a nice galley, sink, and a burner so you can cook up a coffee, uh, wash your plates up, you know, cook some lunch up, excellent. Storage underneath. And a fridge. So as we were saying, with this boat, with this vessel, you can easily stay out overnight. Not with a bunch of people, just one or two people. It is very doable. On the other side is our dinette. At the moment, it's set up as a dining table. And you can see I'm six foot two. I've got headroom. I've got some air coming in here. Very relaxed, nice space. As with everything Mary Frischer, it can also change around. Just get rid of these. Now we've got everything off the table. We can spin the table round, fold it in half, spin it round, and this chair turns into your co-captain's chair for forward passage, handlebar. Two people could sit here, one person and a puppy, probably easier, but lovely space. And look at this windscreen. It is a massive windscreen, plenty of light. Everyone can see what is happening. Spinning this back again, take the table off, remove that. Another neat little storage bay under here, which keeps some poles. If you watched all our other videos, usually this is Brooke's job. There we go. Table slots in there. We'll show you this secret hidey hole under there. And in 30 seconds, you've got a day bed to lounge on. I wonder if I can fit. I'm six foot two, remembering. I could, I could sleep here. And there's curtains all the way around. You can black out everything and have a good night's sleep. Moving across to the helm, it is a very traditional Mary Fisher setup. They're still waiting on the GPS. This boat is still being uh, put together, but you've got your engine controls, your fuel, a fusion sound system, and you've probably noticed a few speakers around the place. Some auxiliary power, charge your phone up, your throttle, bow thruster, and your rocker switches. And everything you need to comfortably drive this vessel. So 
In the stand-up position, I've got good visibility over my bow. I can see everything that's happening. If I need to, I can also yell out to the marina, to pass ropes or do whatever you need to do. And on a longer passage, bolster seat down. Good little spot for your elbow, right on top of the throttle. Trim your engine, drive the boat, and away you go. Comfortable, everything you need to do in this great little seven meter boat. While we're in the captain's seat, let's talk about performance. We've got 200 horsepower out the back, and on this vessel, you can reach speeds of up to about 35 knots, depending on the conditions. In terms of handling, the Mary Fisher 695 is a joy to pilot. It can get through some chop with that V-shaped hull, and you're not gonna be getting that spray if you had clears and this was all sort of flopping around a bit. This is all glass, so you can get you know, if there's spray that comes through from other boats and other wash, it's not going to get you, you can wash it away. If the rain comes in, you're also nice and dry. On a hot summer's day though, you've got plenty of airflow, so you've got this big sunroof here and these big windows here. Let's head underneath and have a look at the little cabin and the head. This is the smallest in the range, but has a lot of creature comforts packed in. Let's have a look here. This. This vessel is, has been fitted with a head, um, so that enables you to have a nice comfortable overnight on the hook. The V berth is quite large, definitely room for two adults. This insert here is added so it makes it easier to open the space there. I mean, I'm not large, but it definitely has enough room for me to lie down. So plenty of room for me to fit and then I reckon Damien could quite easily fit there as well. You've got porthole here, we've got a blo little block out blind, we've actually got the cushions on the bow at the moment but this lifts, lifts up so you get na lots of natural light and airflow. Another great function, Jeannot think of everything, they've got a storage sp compartment underneath this seat here which you can see right now. Although this version does have the head, there is the option to go without to make this V berth even larger. You can have it so that this section here is all cabin space and you can have a chemical toilet underneath there as well. Let's now take a look up at the bow. I'm gonna make my way up to the bow now, but one thing to note is you can actually go up both sides. I'm gonna head up the starboard side. It is a little bit wider. The cabin is offset to the port to give you that bit space here. Also, while we head up, there'll be a few points where this, you can tell this is a series two. Let's go up. Some of the points of the series two are that the windows are a lot larger than the first series and the ability to have these roof racks attached as an option to put a sup, surfboard, some water toys up here. Great option to have. Moving all the way forward to the bow. Moving forward to the bow, this vessel's been fitted with the optional bow ladder intake. So pull up at the beach, throw the ladder over the front, climb straight down, enjoy your day on the beach. We've got our windlass with a very large chain locker and you can control it from here or you can control from the helm, whichever you wanna do. And if you need more space to lounge around, some huge deck pads. Oh, that's really comfortable. Huge deck pads, line the windscreen, have your cocktail and watch the sun go down. And just as we noted before, and there's an insert here for ventilation into the, uh, into the cabin, into your V-berth down there. Brooks joined me up here on the bow as we would if we were out on the boat, just enjoying ourselves. And it shows just how much room you've got on this delightful seven metre boat. Thanks so much to Northside Marine for allowing us access to this beautiful Jeannot Mary Fisher 695 Series 2. We hope you enjoyed seeing all the features and characteristics on board. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments down below. And uh, we'll see you next time on the rudder.